The purpose of mineral exploration is to find new deposits that can become an ore body. There are two major types of exploration, greenfield and brownfield. In brownfield, the goal is to secure deposits close to an existing mine. This can be done either from the surface or from inside the mine, which can be more efficient compared to surface. The benefits with brownfield are that you can use the existing infrastructure of the mine and that the geological conditions are normally known. In greenfield, the goal is to find new deposits in an unexplored area, which is a much higher risk. Before starting with core drilling, a number of steps need to be executed, and this can vary from country to country. Study all available geological maps, satellite pictures, and possible available airborne geophysical surveys. Collect samples from stones and outcroppings of rocks for local geological mapping. Make local geophysical surveys, for example, through electromagnetic surveys. Collect geochemical samples in vegetation, sediments, and in shallow boreholes. The last and most expensive phase is core drilling. There are three kinds of players in the exploration business, major mining companies, junior mining companies, and drilling contractors. Drilling contractors are normally suppliers to the major and junior mining companies. The total amount of exploration activity depends on macroeconomic factors, such as world economy cycles and the demand for minerals. The major mining companies invest in brownfield exploration almost always, regardless of world economy factors, in order to meet the long-term needs for minerals. During upturns and booms in the world economy, both major and junior mining companies invest in greenfield exploration, which involves a much higher risk. The actual core drilling is performed by either in-house drilling equipment or through the purchase of services from a drilling contractor. These drilling contractors are primary exploration customers.